Hey folks, this is Mike with The Quality Sportsman. Today I'm doing a quick review on the relatively new Leopold BX4 range binos. Uh, these things are pretty awesome and I've been using them for a few months now, so I'm excited to share it with you. Let's take a look. All right, so I got these uh, Leopold BX4 range binos uh, a few months ago, maybe three, four months ago. Um, uh, especially once I found out Leopold runs a military discount program. So check that out directly on their website, not through expert voice. Um, and I really wanted to upgrade for uh, long range shooting from just my little archery handheld rangefinder. Uh, that thing is not really great out to distance. It, it's hard to aim. It's hard to uh, know if you're hitting your targets. Uh, for me, that's going to remain my bow hunting tree stand setup rangefinder. Uh, this is kind of a game changer for me, and, and I'm sad I didn't get into a pair earlier, uh, but when I found out that Leopold had a new product out there, I was really excited to check it out. Uh, so I just want to run through a quick few reasons why I love this and why I think you should consider it. Uh, first, the price, it, it is a little steep, but when you're looking at a quality pair of binos, um, I think it's actually relatively affordable, especially with the military discount. Um, I won't disclose what that is because I'm not sure if that's available or changed. Uh, but the uh, sticker price on these is around $1,500. Uh, the discount does bring it uh, down a lot. Um, so that's good. Uh, they are 10 by 42s. It, and uh, the first thing I like about them is the optical uh, glass quality is really nice. Um, I have some other brands of binos. I won't name what those are, but very popular um, brands with good warranties. Uh, they are, definitely not as good as this. So uh, although this has a lot of extra functionality, the quality is really nice. Um, what I've used this for most is actually setting these on top of my tripod at uh, PRS or at um, tactical gas gun matches, ranging all the targets. Uh, these are very popular items th uh, that all my squad mates want to see when I'm ranging the targets, you know, building my range card so that uh, I'm not just taking what the match director tells me the range is, but I'm actually verifying for myself. Not really using terribly low light conditions, but uh, just feels like it's clear. I can stay behind them for a while. I can watch other people shoot, spot their rounds out to a fairly reasonable distance. Uh, I mean, out, out to about, you know, uh, closer to a thousand yards, I'm, I'm able to spot other people's shots. Um, I choose to use these over a spotting scope because of how lightweight and how easy it is. I actually don't even mount these in my tripod. I put my shooting bag and I set it right on top. Uh, it does the trick and then I can pull that off and use my tripod if I need it. Um, so yeah, I think the clarity is really nice on these. The feel is great. Uh, doesn't feel cheap. It feels very sturdy, durable. Um, I kind of just throw these in my bag, which is probably terrible. I should get a case or something. Um, and uh, they've held up great so far. They do have all the you know standard bino features, so not nothing uh, too much that this has over anything else. But you know the lens caps um, and uh, the individual focus. Um, okay, now uh, the ranging feature. Uh, I really love the ranging feature on these. You can actually flip the buttons, um, but for me, I'm right-handed, so I leave the right-handed uh, button to be the range. They're turned off. You can use them like regular binos until you hit this once to bring up the display. Uh, you know, you kind of get your little reticle there. It's, it's a small circle and you can start ranging your targets. Okay, so once you hit that button and you pull up the reticle, you can start ranging targets. Uh, while I haven't tested the max effective range, uh, they claim to be able to range deer up to 1100 yards on their body, trees up to 1600 yards, and then uh, reflective targets all the way out to 2,600 yards. Um, the one thing that I can comment on with firsthand experience is that I feel uh, with two-handed binos, you know, on a steady tripod, I'm able to effectively range steel plates and I don't have to rely on the burn behind it. I know a lot of rangefinders really struggle to pick up those steel plates. Uh, I know exactly when I'm on that steel plate and I get that exact distance every time. Um, all I have to do is do my part and make sure I'm on a stable platform and I'm not bouncing all around. But as long as I can hold that reticle uh, center point on the steel plate and hit the range, I know that I'm getting that exact uh, target range. And that's I've done that all the way out to 
uh, almost 1,100 yards at a uh, long range shooting competition. Uh, but I haven't taken this out uh, much further, to be honest. Um, most of my stuff is happening, you know, within that 1,100 yard range. Um, so I really like it for that. Uh, the next big thing is that it does give you an angle. Um, now you have to put it, you either have to go into the ballistics mode for the rifle or the bow mode for the angle compensated distance, but it will tell you the angle uh, that you are shooting at, which is very important to me. I live in the Western uh, part of North Carolina. It's very mountainous. A lot of our ranges and engagements are up or downhill uh, in order to stretch out that far there's no way to do it flat. It's not very common. A lot of the ranges have some angle involved. Uh, and I've been at ranges in flat areas too, where you have some targets here and then maybe you have a hillside with some other targets. You have to be compensating for your, um, your angle there. So you can trust the match director that they've given you the, the exact range, but I like to keep it all within one system and know that I'm always ranging with the same binos. I'm putting that into my ballistics calculator uh, with the angle and getting the exact uh, range, uh, you know, that my gun cares about. Uh, so that is huge for me. And that's probably one of my favorite features here is just the overall ease of ranging and getting that uh, angle number that I trust. Um, so this does have a ballistics calculator in it. It's called uh, TBR slash W, which is Leopold proprietary ballistics calculator. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't messed with that yet. I use a Kestrel for all of my ballistics data. And when I go hunting this fall, I'm probably just gonna bring that Kestrel, but uh, I will try that out later this year. So I'll give an update if I find that I like that. Um, to me, even without the ballistics calculator, this is worth it on its own because of all the features that I've described. There's also some other cool features, like I mentioned before, if you're lefty and you wanna range with your left hand, you can switch. Um, you can, you know, go into the setup and switch the buttons around. Uh, it can mount a tripod with a standard tripod uh, adapter um, here in the front. Um, Leopold does have a lifetime warranty on these, so I'm not really worried about them breaking or anything like that. Uh, and again, I think the quality is very high, so I'm not worried about that because of that. So overall, these have been an awesome addition. Um, I would feel naked without them. Whenever I'm at a match, I range all my targets. I feel like because I'm not using a spotting scope and I'm using these binos with the range in them, I have it all in one system. And I feel like I have my range card written out before most other folks. People are always asking to borrow these. They're always asking the range of the targets. I see people struggling out there with the smaller handheld. Um, you know, hand, single handheld golf or bow hunting type uh, range finders. And, and I know that struggle, so I'm really glad to have these. These have been an integral part of the kit. Um, so I can't recommend these enough. Unfortunately, these are my first range finding binos, so I can't compare them to some of the other offerings out there on the market. But after buying these um, at the price and with the features they have, I have no reason to go check those out. This is everything I wanted it to be. Uh, and more, um, there's features that I haven't even used yet. Uh, this is gonna go with me in the, in the tree stand for bow hunting. Um, it's gonna go with me on my Western hunt later this year. I got an elk hunt lined up in Wyoming and Idaho, uh, which is gonna be really fun. Um, and you know, all, all of my shooting, every time I go to the range, I'm bringing this because I have to know for those long range engagements, uh, how far exactly I'm shooting and what angle is that at. So I hope you enjoyed the review. I highly recommend these again, especially for the military community where Leopold offers that wonderful discount. Go get that directly on their website. In this price range, I'm not aware of anything else that I would think compares, but uh, don't have that direct experience. So I apologize for that. Um, either way, go ahead and get you a pair. See if you can get, get your hands on some. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, this has been uh, an awesome piece of kit and I plan to use it in my next PRS match. Uh, this Saturday down in Clinton House, uh, June 15th. So hope to see some of you folks out there. If you want to check these binos out, um, I'll be out there. You can come, uh, you know, one of the tallest guys out there. So it should be easy to find, um, you know, introduce yourself and I'll let you range a bunch of targets with these. So um, hope you enjoyed this quick review uh, and let me know what other products you want to see down in the comments. Um, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give a like, and again, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow, uh, and work on bringing you better content each week. Thanks. And until next time, we'll see you on the quality sportsman.